here. And I do believe I have two additional individuals who should be coming around the corner here. I believe I have Joe Gilmore and Derek Tolan. Nice Hi, to Kate. see you. Nice to meet you. I am Kate. How are you? Thanks for coming in. I'm going to pull you a little bit closer here over here. This is our wonderful studio on the street here in Providence, streaming live. <laughs> So talk to us a little bit. I want to talk about some kind of business topics sure. here, and I want to talk about airports <laughs> and Norwegian Air and what's everything that's going on over in Ireland. First of all, we're delighted to be here. My name is Joe Gilmore. I'm the uh, Managing Director of Ireland West Airport, uh, right in the center of the west of Ireland. Um, in terms of airports, I, I'm across here as part of the trade delegation from the west of Ireland with the local authorities and, and the various company members to uh, and mark the opening of the uh, the Irish uh, at the, the West Ireland uh, Trade Centre. And as part of my work here, I'm also taking meetings with uh, TF Green Airport here in Providence, and we're working very closely with them and Norwegian, with the expectation that we develop services directly from the West of Ireland uh, to our airport, Ireland West Airport. We've been uh, we it, it all started I guess about three years ago when we met Governor Shafey mm -hmm. on, on a, an official trade delegation to the West of Ireland. And at that stage, the introduction, introductions were made and uh, the discussions around direct connectivity yep. from Ireland to, to Providence. So we have worked um, tirelessly in the background with Norwegian Air and also with the other airports to start what we see uh, this summer, which yes. is the launch of new services to Cork, uh, Shannon and Dublin. So we're, uh, we're, we're very hopeful as the next airport um, with connectivity directly to Providence. We're an airport um, of about 750,000 passengers a year. We service 25 international destinations and we cover a catchment into the, we'd say the most beautiful parts of Ireland. <laughs> Fantastic. And what's the appetite there for folks maybe looking to come to the States and Rhode Island in particular? Well, I think, I think Rhode Island has an awful lot to offer. Um, I think, to be honest, uh, the connectivity between Rhode Island and, and the similarities in terms of the, the Catholic um, background. Um, the west of Ireland is, is still very Catholic. You've got um, the Marian Shrine in Knock, which is very close to the airport. Um, I think also its proximity to major centres here in, um, in Rhode Island, Connecticut, and uh, up into Boston. You're very close to a major Irish diaspora. So I think there's going to be a tremendous potential there, especially with an airline like Norwegian, with the fair structures it offers. Um, and also, um, it, I think it's flying the right type of aircraft to mm -hmm. make, a, make make the service uh, viable. So, we're, you know, we're very excited, to, as, as I say, and I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a very big development. Um, and and you hit on that point of the affordability factor. Yeah. I mean, how, how critical is that to enable the, you know, both the business passenger and the, and the leisure traveler to come over? I mean, is this just a game changer? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think what it's going to do is, you know, already the U.S. market and particularly the East Coast between the, this stretch between New York and, and, and Boston has, has a, an enormous number of Irish diaspora and also, um, you know, people, Americans that, that maybe second and third generation Irish that wish to visit Ireland. Um, I, I think from a, yeah, I think from, a, I believe you're coming across for, for a couple of couple, days. A couple of trips across uh, the pond, yeah. yes. Yeah, I think, I think it's going to open up the whole market in Ireland. Um, yes. Not alone Dublin, everybody knows Dublin. I think everybody wants to visit the very sites and the Book of Kells and Trinity College and all these beautiful places in Dublin. But I think it's going to open up the market outside yes. of the capital city. And we're, it's great to see Cork and Shannon opening up. And hopefully, visitors will travel up along the west coast up to Galway, Mayo, Roscommon, Leith from Donegal, all the beautiful parts of Ireland that oh, has been up until now probably not as. Uh, well explored because there hasn't been the direct services into the West of Ireland. From, and the from direct the service will just open. It opened oh. up. Luxury fares of is it sixty nine dollars? It was sixty nine dollars. You know, it's quite phenomenal. It's it's kind of groundbreaking. They sold um, out in a day. They were all sold out. <laughs> they <laughs> sold out in a day. <laughs> then they went to the ninety nine, <laughs> but still very affordable. Still very affordable. Yes. You know, so I think I think it's going to really kind of uh, you know as I say it's a game changer. And Derek, you're here for the Trade Center, and you're mm -hmm. here to talk about your business. I'm going to have yes. to step a little bit yep. closer, because I usually just have one person, so when we have two, we get a little cozy over here. Yeah. Talk to us a little bit about your business and your interaction with the Center and what you're looking to do here in Rhode Island. So we are a web development company called Dark Blue Design. Um, we first were asked about getting involved with the Trade Center maybe two years ago. Um, we came over the first time in June. And um, we're just looking to um, improve or grow our business um, in this market. We see it as a big opportunity for ourselves. And it's great to have somewhere like the centre that gives the opportunity to do that. 
um, and hopefully with Ireland West Airport, with the actual uh, availability of flights, hopefully coming online soon, it'll be it'll be great. So, who are your ideal clients? Who are you looking to work with over here? Well, we we usually work um, with small to medium businesses. So we have done hospitality, hotels, restaurants, architects, car dealerships. We we anything at all. If if someone comes to us with a problem, we can solve it. Um, so anyone really that is looking for any kind of web development work. And how big is your company? Um, there are, I would say, five, six staff. Okay. Um, between full-time and part-time. Um, we have been uh, established maybe three, four years ago. Um, we're growing all the time. Um, so like with the Trade Centre, we just see it as a, as a huge opportunity to open up a, a big market for ourselves. Come here now. You said you've been here. We have. This is our third time. Okay. So yeah. what do you like most about Rhode Island? Rhode Island's great. The people are very welcoming. Um, very nice city to just walk around, take in the <laughs> When it's not snowing when out. When it's not snowing, <laughs> when we can. When yeah. all of your trip has been thrown for a complete loop. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Rhode Island just... Um, We've been down to Newport, things like that. It's it's, it's beautiful, nice history. It's um, just a nice place to explore. You sticking around for the parade in Providence this weekend? I don't have the chance. Oh no! Unfortunately, <laughs> I'd, I'd love to. I'd love to, but did you make it to uh, the Newport parade last weekend? I didn't. You missed the parade. You missed the parade. Yeah, I know the best part. The best part. <laughs> well, if you continue working here in Rhode Island, hopefully you can come back for the future. That's the plan. And obviously, plan. summertime. I mean, there's never an off season here in Rhode Island. There's just mm -hmm. so much opportunity. Yeah. Joe, what do you like about Rhode Island? I have to admit, this is my first visit here. Your first okay. visit, first so visit. so far, so good. Uh, yeah, yeah. I hope my first visit. You know, <laughs> I'm sad. I love the weather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't be facetious. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got that. Sorry. <laughs> lovely, lovely weather. Nice no, slush no, it's outside. a very summer to Ireland. It looks like you're going to have three or four seasons. One day, you know, we started this morning with a snowstorm. I think you know the rain has started here, and then uh, maybe the and, blue and skies will come warm. out this afternoon. Let's check up here if we can no, get a. Seriously, in the short time I've been here, and what I've read about Providence and Rhode Island, it, it's kind of one of the unexplored states. I think, I think to be honest, it kind of has suffered from being, you know, a, a, a small state. In, in, in that, you know, we all know about New York, and we all know about Massachusetts, and we know that we so, are uh, getting our, on the map. So I think, I think, the, from from a connectivity point of view. Uh, I think it can't be underestimated the uh, internationalization that this development with Norwegian for for TIF Green Airport is going to make for the region in terms of opening it up internationally. You know, and I'm under underestimating. I think you can't underestimate the importance of that. Um, it's going to open up from a tourism point of view, from a business point of view. I think the trade centre here is only just a very small mm -hmm. microcosm of what is potentially can you know can be potentially developed here. You yeah, know, there is a um, lot of opportunity. You know, and, and I think you've, you 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 clearly have a very um, innovative and proactive business community here um, from the sales of seats on the initial uh, flights to Ireland it looks like um, there's there's many people here that wish to visit Ireland and, Big I, appetite, know, yes. and I can see it <laughs> counterway so I think I think you're just going to see loads of things just built up and a, a lot you know a lot of good stuff happening over the next couple of years we yeah. did uh, we had some tourism officials here again after the Norwegian announcement about what they're working on especially from the international standpoint and, and also from the business standpoint they said you know those direct flights are just so key for the business community when they're you know, bidding for a big conference to yeah. say direct flight right into green and just so you folks know I mean you've been here I mean green mm -hmm. just is so convenient you know for folks in Rhode Island especially mm -hmm. from where Providence is to get to Logan is just yeah. that much further yeah. uh, the factors not underestimated so we're looking forward to seeing what transpires moving forward um, it's been great to have as we said the Irish invasion about the yeah. trade center the impact of Norwegian as mm. as you mentioned so screen is very well located and it's on a state and also if you wish to travel you know what, uh, what should I say, westwards or <laughs> southwest, up to Boston, you know, you know, it's, it's kind of, you know, as I said, I'm out there in the morning with the, the team out there, so we're hopeful to have uh, we'll have productive business discussions. And you know, they, they, they want to develop and they want to, to expand. And uh, I think they've got a, a new team there, yes. Now, and they're, they're looking to uh, if the car is uh, we've had him in as well to talk about it. And you know, the train kind of as you mentioned, if you haven't been over to start relationship he was instrumental having been the Warwick mayor to get that to get, to get that well, connectivity crazy. you know that, that is so easy because you know it's 10-15 minutes off from Providence or an hour it's it's, it's so it's centrally like, yeah. located 
that you, you can't beat it. We actually had Chafee in the studio a few weeks ago. He was talking with Russian TV. You know, he had done some work in the Ukraine after he was senator, so they wanted mm -hmm. to ask him sort of about the Trump administration. I rehashed and everything. I did put him on the spot to see if he was going to run again. He wasn't sure, but, you know, comes from a, a long line of, of political folks. But um, started off this relationship with you guys. Yeah, so we're seeing it yeah. here today. Yeah. Again, the week of St. Patrick's Day. We have all the <laughs> Irish over here and this great Irish weather, as you're mentioning. Um, so, well, welcome. And I Thank hopefully we'll talk with you guys soon, yeah. whether in person or via mm -hmm. Skype, yeah. because we yeah. are so mobile and mm -hmm. accessible here live in studio. I'm going to let you guys go around Pleasure the corner being, and I'll uh, hopefully talk with you guys soon. We Thank you for like, coming. We in. would like to say as well the center is on Main Street. 177 uh, North Main would love people to come and visit. Okay, well, as I said, we'll have it on the website, but you heard it here, mm -hmm. and we'll go check it out. Okay, <laughs> I'll let you guys go around the